Today I'm going to show you a way in which you can fall asleep quicker, in which you can diffuse your frustration and in which you can regulate your blood pressure. If you're interested, stay tuned. Hi, this is Sebastian Antonowicz and on my 5-minute psychology channel I talk about ways in which psychology can make your life easier. Today I would like to show you a very effective technique for people struggling with insomnia. So if you are a person who has difficulty falling asleep, or perhaps you do sleep, but uh, the quality of your sleep is not so good. In all of these situations, this technique that I'm going to present to you can be effective. But also, there have been some studies showing that a lot of patients with hypertension, so blood pressure, high blood pressure, can benefit from this particular technique as well. But if you have any doubts, make sure to contact your physician first. This is a breathing technique called 478. And I'm sure a lot of you have already seen my other videos on breathing techniques. And this one, well, this technique is for these people who have already tried my other techniques, like for example, the diaphragmatic breathing. At first, this particular technique could be a little bit difficult. It's not so easy to use it, but I hope you will be able to do it. So why is it called 478? 478 is the number of seconds you use for a different activity. You will have 4 seconds to breathe in, then 7 seconds to hold your breath, and then 8 seconds to exhale. So 4 seconds breathing in, hold the breath for 7 seconds, and breathe out for 8 seconds. Let's try it, shall we? So, breathe in, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And exhale in eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so this is how it works. Now let's try it together. I usually instruct my clients to breathe in through their nose and breathe out through the mouth. But it's not so easy if you are not used to breathing techniques. So, if for you, breathing out for these eight seconds is a bit of a struggle. You can, for example, pretend that you are whistling like this. It slows down the stream of air that you exhale. So let's try it together. Breathe in within four seconds, then hold your breath for seven seconds and breathe out in eight seconds. It's much easier this way, isn't it? Now, you should be able to repeat this exercise four or five times at the very beginning. But with time, you will be able to do it much, much more often. But the number of you repeating this uh, exercise in a row will increase as you get better and better at this particular exercise. Now, if you're starting feeling dizzy, that's also to be expected, but it's just a sign that you should stop for now and come back to this exercise later on. There is nothing to worry about, but perhaps for this particular moment you've had enough. Also, if you want to know more about breathing techniques used for insomnia, for dealing with stress, for unwinding, for diffusing frustration, for lowering your heart rate and your blood pressure, make sure to check out my other videos. You will find some around here. They should be visible around here already. And also, Every Thursday, I upload a new video, and I want these videos to be adjusted to your needs. So let me know in the comments why you are using this technique. Are you fighting with insomnia? Or perhaps you are too stressed out? 
or maybe there is something else that you, would like, that you would like to tell me about. If I know better what problem you are struggling with, I will be able to help you more effectively. If you want to learn more about psychology in general, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get the latest video every time. And I'll see you next time.